Back in 2000, we owned a Liberty which gave my family trouble-free motoring for more than a decade. The high-riding Subaru Outback, well, that was the dream back when money was tight. The 2018 model that we're in right now, well, that's a midlife update that's received a stack of changes inside and out, but we'll get to those in a sec because I'm on my way to pick up my mate Dom Wiseman, our fishing and lifestyle guru, and we're on our way to Ulladulla, three hours south of Sydney, on a two-day surf mission. And I tell you what, I don't know what the weather holds for us. It looks a bit grim, and I'm glad I'm in this. How are you, champ? Good, mate. Put your stuff in the back, son. The real party trick of this outback, when your roof rails become roof racks in about 15 seconds. For a family with kids, there is plenty of room in the back seats with USB connectivity. Surfboards and longer items are easily accommodated by folding one or both of the rear seats down, creating a nice flat area. Underneath the boot, it's great to also see a full-sized spare. Wow, this is a really comfortable car, Tony. Yeah. It's almost plush in here. Mate, that's the right word. They've even gone for a larger, high-definition 8-inch screen. That's really intuitive. And, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. What I really like, though, is the fact that it instantly reconnects after seconds getting into a car. That's an issue with some makes. Absolutely. And in here, the leather's nice and soft, and that steering wheel does look very fancy for a car in this segment. Yeah, it reminds me of BMW with the thick rim and the nice stitching, you know? Absolutely. A lot of controls on there, too. Everything. I really like the nav screen. You mentioned this infotainment centre, but the nav screen is nice and big and easy to see in all light conditions. Yeah, you get fingerprints on this piano black part of it, but the screen itself is so bright that it doesn't seem to affect it. Absolutely. Now, I'm sure there's no surf spots located in the system the itself. The locals don't want that, mate. Not at all, but let's put in Ulladulla and hit the road. Yeah. Ulladulla is a coastal town about 230 kilometres south of Sydney. The area is well known for its stunning beaches and if you know where to go, it's a mix of beach and reef breaks suitable for a variety of surfers and skill levels. It's also a popular holiday destination with accommodation ranging from camping through to caravan parks and boutique accommodation options. When I tested the 2017 model, I noticed a fair bit of road noise, and to my ear, this car isn't hugely dissimilar to that. Yeah, well, you're running Bridgestone Jeweler, so it's a thicker tread pattern. That'll produce more road noise, but they, they have worked on things like the wing mirrors and reduced the volume to reduced wind noise, at least, so they've worked on things like that. Safety has always been a focus for Subaru, although these days, all the latest active safety kit is bundled into what they call eyesight. And that includes stuff like multiple view cameras, including this very handy side view monitor mounted into the side mirror, which provides a crystal clear view down the left side of the vehicle, perfect for tight curb parking. But the Outback's also got adaptive driving beam that auto adjusts the brightness and the high beam so as not to dazzle oncoming drivers. And it's just brilliant. From where I sit as we're going around these twisty roads, I certainly don't feel as much lean as I used to with the old model. Absolutely, mate, you're spot on. That's all part of the suspension tweaks. So as it also feels a lot tauter than it ever felt without affecting ride cover, which is, you know, it's a hard thing to master. They've done it. Look, no question this new Outback is more refined and definitely quieter, but give it a bootful and there's no escaping the CVT's high revving nature. The 2.5 litre 4 is no rocket ship, despite some fine tuning, but armed with the same 129 kilowatts and 235 newton metres, it's more than enough for everyday driving. Now, most manufacturers, Subaru the same, have gone to electric power steering systems, leaving the old hydraulic systems behind. What's difficult to do sometimes is get a natural feel through the steering wheel. Subaru have done it, but what I really like about this system is that there's plenty of weight 
either side of the on centre position, which means travelling on country roads like this, you don't have to continuously correct to track straight ahead. And that's a good thing. Definitely. One of the great advantages of this car is its ability to go beyond the tarmac though. Yeah, it's one of the highest riding station wagons you get with 213 mil ride height. Most cars ride height between 120 and 150 mil, so you're plenty high. And it will definitely allow us to get down some of these tracks down towards Ulladulla. Like? We can't mention. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's be honest, Australians are addicted to SUVs. Hell, I've got one and I know Dom has, but it's vehicles like this latest Subaru Outback that should seriously have you questioning the need for such heavy beasts due to this car's sheer all-round versatility and comfort on and off-road. And let's not forget all the latest tech and active safety kit. There's plenty of that too. And at little more than the previous model, it's also very affordable for many families. And I'm going for a surf. <laughs>